Hi everyone, it's Karen from Crafty Karen Designs. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am um, video hopping with the Stamp Around UK group. Um, it's a group of UK Stamping Up demonstrators who get together once a month um, and make projects on a theme. And this month's theme is texture. And I have to admit, this one had me scratching my head for quite a while. Um, so I haven't got a sample, but I've got a few ideas and I've got a few bits and pieces prepared. So I'm just going to go for it. And hopefully it'll work out and it'll meet the theme. <laughs> so let's give it a whirl. Um, so texture, I was thinking embossing, the, you know, the natural embossing folders um, and things like that. So <clears throat> I've got the 3D um, bark embossing folder, which is quite nice. I've also got, a, but I wanted a, I wanted a big embossing fold because I wanted to do a sort of almost six by six card. So um, this is the only one I've got currently that's in the current catalogue. Um, the other ones that I've got are small ones that go through the mini machine. So it was a bit of a fait accompli, so I'm using the bark one. So I thought we'd use that. And then there is um, the In Good Taste designer series paper, which has got lots of different textures. So I looked at the wood and I looked at the painted um, plaster and sort of hessian and things like that and brick. But I decided the one that I like the best for what I've got in mind was this one, which is like um, a textured fabric. It's a bit like um, the fabric that you use for cross stitch um, when you look at it closely. So I thought that might go quite nicely with the with the bark, and then. I thought I'd use the Art Gallery stamp set um, and because it's two-step stamping that looks textured um, and then I thought I might throw in some foil somehow and maybe some ribbon, maybe some twine. So let's give it a try. So as I said I wanted to make um, a square card. So what I did was I took a piece of A4, I've already cut this, um, and I've chopped it at five and seven eighths and then I've turned it the other way and I've scored it at eleven and a half, uh, cut it at eleven and a half, folded in half, so we've got a five and three quarter squared card. So on top of that, I'm going to cut a piece of five and a half, no, five and five eighths square of this textured paper. Hope you can see that all right. Just about the sun shining through the window, so um, I'm a bit blinded person myself. So that will go on there. And then I thought for the embossing, um, we'd go, I'd use a bigger, quite a big piece of embossing. So I've already embossed a piece. So I think I'll chop this down. What was that? Five and five eighths. So I think I might chop this down to five inches squared. So you'll still see some of the texture um, paper behind it. But you'll see lots of the embossing too. So we'll go like that. So I'll move that out of the way for now. I did look at um, using the spotty 
embossing folder. But I knew I could only do a small strip or piece a couple of strips together using that one. So that's why I've gone for that one. So move those out of the way. And now we'll do some stamping. So, just get some basic white. I have mine cut, um, lots of mine cut into layers, ready to go on card fronts. Um, I just find it helps me out and it's a bit quicker. So I thought I'd use Misty Moonlight, Balmy Blue and Pear Pizzazz. So I'm going to use the Balmy Blue for the, um, the main image on the flower and then I'm going to stamp over the top in the misty moonlight to get the accent um, and then the leaves I'm going to stamp in pear pizzazz and then I'll die cut them out so all the measurements and the instructions for for these this card will be um, over on my blog at craftycarandesigns.blogspot.com later on and the links to everybody else's video will be in the description bar underneath this one so there's the balmy blue love this color and then we'll go over the top with misty moonlight and it doesn't matter if you don't line it up bob on because it doesn't line up exactly it's just you know a sort of um it's just a, a hint of texture so i'll close those two up put my elbow in them and we'll cut out some leaves. So, by the magic of TV, I've already done those. So, here they are. So, those will go together on there somehow, like that. And then I thought, what other um, texture could I bring into it? So I thought I could bring in some foil, um, give it a bit of shine. And the dies that go with this floral, these floral gallery dies have some words, um, which are just one to say. So I thought I could cut that out in foil and put this over here somewhere. So again, by the magic of TV, I've already done that because there's nothing more boring than watching somebody die cut. Um, and my plates are disgusting. I'm ashamed of them. So um, just put that there. That's the, the dot off the J. So we could have those over this side. And then just want... To say and then we could have what should we say we could have happy birthday congratulations best wishes you are lovely I'm thinking of you I think I'm gonna have I'm thinking of you So on this piece that I um, stamped these, I could stamp that then, couldn't I? Just get another block. <clears throat> I really do love doing these um, video hops. The inspiration is just amazing. 
There are some very, very talented people out there. And they always end up giving me lots and lots of really good ideas. So I'm going to stamp that in. Misty moonlight. There you go, that's nice. Oh, actually, I'd already cut some banners out. I forgot that. So I'll try and stamp it on here and get it straight. Sorry if you can see my head. That's not bad. So let's start putting it together. So we can use some dimensionals to um, add some of these bits and pieces to give it a bit more depth and a bit more texture. So, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. Hope you're all enjoying the new annual catalogue. I'm loving it, especially the floral stuff. There is lots and lots. Gorgeous floral papers, floral dyes, floral stamp sets. Love it. Just give that a bit of a smoosh. Should maybe have gone five and a half with that. But never mind. And then this can go in the middle of that. Central or central. I think the flower will put on dimensionals over here. Going that way. it going that way so we'll have that just overhanging about there I think we'll just bend that a little bit and put this on dimensionals too. Oops, add that. About there, like that. And then these will have to glue on. I could have um, die cut them using um, the adhesive paper, but um, I wasn't sure it would stick to embossing very well. So, give it a whirl. With this. So let's just position it first. Oops. Get my tweezers out. Oh, 
and then we can have that. Yeah, across there. What do you think? Yeah, across or under there. We'll see. Find the tweezers. So just talk amongst yourselves while I do this bit. Um, as I said, all the instructions will be over on my blog, craftycarandesigns.blogspot.com. Um, I've now got a new weekly newsletter that I'm sending out, which has all the latest um, news from Stampin' Up, as well as links and pictures to everything that I've put on my blog that week. Um, information about joining my team. If you want to become a demonstrator, best thing I ever did. Met so many fantastic people and learned so much. I'd never made a card before I joined Stamping Up. And now I make them virtually every day. Sell them at craft fairs and I make them as commissions for people. I just love it. So if you're interested in um, joining Stampin' Up and becoming a demonstrator, at the moment, the joining offer is £130 worth of anything from current catalogues for £99, which is a bargain. Um, and you don't have to blog and you don't have to make videos unless you want to. You can just join to get the 20% discount. And who doesn't like a bargain? Whoops, I know that's why I joined in the first place. Um, so you get 20% discount on all further orders. Whoops. And then Whenever new products or new catalogues come out, you get to see them first. I don't think I like that J on that dot on there. But I can't get it off now. I'm going to take it off. I don't like it. It's too big. Was it supposed to go the other way, do you think? A long time since I've used these, can't remember. No, that doesn't look right either. So we'll leave that off. So we'll use some mini dimensionals for this. We're coming to the end of those, so we'll chop them up. Don't want to be wasting these end pieces. some ribbon or some twine on here as well. Take 
get those backs off. I think we'll put that down there and then we'll get some twine. This is the um, twine from the Simply Elegant, also comes in gold. What's it called? Simply Elegant Trim. So let's try and bow in this, see what this looks like. Not great at doing bows particularly on camera. Do what a double bow would look like. Let's cut a couple of pieces, put them together and have a look. Here's where it all goes, Pete Tong. I don't know. That's better, isn't it? Just chop a bit of these. Oh, I hope you can't hear the dog barking outside. It barks all the time. It drives me completely nuts. I need a glue dot now. Just bear with me. run out of stamping up ones so I'll have to use one of these don't tell oops wrecking the joint bit big these stick it there like that and then we'll stick that to the top. Now we need some um, a piece for the inside. So we'll just cut a piece for the inside. We might stamp on there as well. Why not? That's on the side. So we'll have a piece that is five and a half square, I think. And we could do another flower, couldn't we? Why not? we go. So we'll add that to the inside and then we're done. I 
There we are. I do love this stamp set. How pretty is that? Get a smoosh. So there we go. We've got, I hope you'll agree, we've got lots of texture. We've got textured paper, embossing folders, foil texture, two-step stamping, some twine, which is quite a textured twine, and some raised dimension too. I hope you like it. Um, if you do, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, I'd be really grateful if you could click on the red um, subscribe button. And if you click on the bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. Don't forget, all the measurements are over on my blog at craftycarindesigns.blogspot.com later on today. And as I said, my new weekly newsletter is available for you to sign up to on my blog as well. Just fill your details in on the pop-up box that appears when you uh, open the blog. Don't forget to have a look at everybody else's um, videos. I'm sure you'll find lots and lots to inspire you. All the details will be on, in the description bar below this video. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.